Good evening, everybody. It's Mike here, Global Voodoo. It's a late night show, but it's a very important show, and I want to get right to the point of what we're going to be talking about here today. And what we're going to be talking about today is how do we make more money with eBay, right? Um, a lot of people look at eBay at so many different levels, right? I've been reselling here for over 20 years. I started when eBay first started, and um, my journey has been kind of up and down and up and down. And I'm not saying that I have all the answers for you right now, um, because everybody's eBay business is different. But what I want to talk about tonight is something I really think is very, very important, okay? And it's going to be kind of a raw video, because I'm in my garage. It's late night. I can't see a lot of you that are commenting. I do see Flipper Joe. Thanks, Flipper Joe, for joining. But I want to throw these, these tips out here, because I really think they're going to change your business, okay? Um, tip number one here is... Right, a lot of people have this, um, hey, Jonathan Alfaro, thanks for joining, I really appreciate it. A lot of people have this like knowledge of like, well, eBay is, I should just be listing items and that these items should should either, either could sell immediately or they could take some time to sell. Um, but what is the question, right? How, how do we know when an, an eBay item actually sells, right? Like, what is the, the time frame for that to sell? And I think this is very important here because a lot of people look at things, and I've said this like years ago, like if you're listing your eBay item, right? And you're like, all right, here's my eBay item. Why isn't it selling? But here's the thing. When you look at it, you look at the, the stats, right? Look at the analytics. And it's only got like nine views. Well, that's not very much a in-demand eBay item, right? So you have that in, in mind, right? Let's just get that over <laughs> and say, all right, Hey, yeah, we know this is not an in-demand item. This isn't Versace. This isn't, you know, um, Tiffany or whatever it may be, whatever the hot trend is. But we're gonna all going to have items that are items that might sit for a little bit, right? And when you're listing that item, you got to say to yourself, what, what, how do I list this, right? Like, what's, what, 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 is, what is the stage for me to list this, okay? And I'm just going to throw, I'm going to go through this here, like, just completely crazy. <laughs> and so here's what I do. When I list an item... Right, I look at the item and I go, here's what it is. All right, I'm gonna look at the comps in terms of what I see in eBay, solds versus actives. And I look at those two things. All right, so if I see, oh wow, um, widget A is, it sells in eBay for $13. There's 35 results, right, on eBay for that, right? But active, there's only like six. So should I be the lowest reseller or lowest seller on eBay? And my, my answer is no, don't be the lowest, right? Because um, when these numbers come through and you start listing items, you're like, man, there's no, there's no traffic. There's no, uh, <laughs> there's no numbers to this. So that doesn't mean be scared of that and go, oh man, it'll never sell. No, you just got to think differently. And I've been saying this since day one with, with eBay and YouTube here, that when you're listing items on eBay, right? Majority of our items are going to be having very, very small views. If maybe one watcher or two watcher, unless it's something really extremely in demand, right? And, um, you know, if it's in demand, it's going to sell, right? If you start getting watchers off the bat in 24 hours, you know, you're going to go, oh, wow, it's this is going to pop. But don't overlook the fact when you're listing these other items that these items will be in demand at some point, okay? And what I mean by that is that you just got to play to your routine, right? What is your business model? Is your business model to go to buy thrift store clothing? Is your business model to get um, <clears throat> electronics? And you're going to get Sony Walkmans, for example, and they're priced at the lowest price, $35 on eBay right now at the moment. But you want to be 32, right? But when you look at the solds, maybe only six sell in 90 days. I want you guys to really clear the slate, okay? Because... Years ago, I came up with a course, right? It was called Capitalizing Clothing. It changed the game, honestly, in my opinion, with a lot of what I see on YouTube here with reselling and clothing-wise, right? A lot of people were like, there's no money in clothing. And some people were like, there's a lot of money in clothing. And I showed things that I do with my business to generate income selling clothing. This is clothing. Clothing is an amazing niche, all right? It helps with a lot of other things, whether it's collectibles, whether it's electronics, high demand items. But let's just get right to the meat and potatoes here. <laughs> I'm sitting here tonight, guys. It's midnight, Arizona time. 
and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna share with you after all these years of reselling, really what I think is the future of reselling. Um, and this will help a lot of you people that are new to the game, right? Because I, I, I get so many people commenting and interacting with me and messaging me, Mike, man, my eBay's dead, right? And I'm like, hey, share me your eBay link, right? So I get their eBay link. And then I look at their eBay store, and I'm not trying to pick on people or whatever, right? I mean, I'm a reseller just like you guys, <laughs> okay? And so I look, and I'm like, all right. And I'm analyzing their listings. I'm like, all right, is this something here that's in demand, right? Like, if it's... The best way I can describe this scenario for me to you guys is like if there's if somebody's selling a Gap shirt, right? Gap. Everybody knows Gap. And you're like, hey, I, I think you can get 14 bucks for this. Okay. All right. Try it. $14. Buy it now. Best offer. Or buy it now. Whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. But maybe you're that seller where like, hey, I gosh, you know what, Mike? It's been weeks since I've sold an item on eBay. Okay, now we have problems. And this is where I think it's going to help a lot of you out there. So it's been weeks. You haven't sold anything on eBay, but you have this Gap shirt at $14 shipped, let's say. <clears throat> but you, you can look in trending and look in all this information and go, okay, well, maybe Gap sells for $6 shipped. <laughs> so we have two options here, right? Okay. And I, forget the Gap shirt. Just put this in mind in perspective of, any general item that's really kind of common. So here's what you do. It's very simple, right? One, let it be, right? But if you're at 14 and everybody else is at eight, well, you're out of the ballpark. It's never going to sell at 14, right? But maybe $10, you drop it down because you see the market's at eight, it sells. Maybe 10 will pop. Two, hey, maybe throw it to auction, right? There... I heard a comment the other day. People are like, oh, dude, there's no money. No, wait, I heard this. <clears throat> Somebody, people were talking and they were like, there's no money anymore in auctions. I'm like, really? On eBay? Oh my God. I mean, it's insanity what we're doing over here with eBay with auctions. It's kind of mind blowing. Matter of fact, I'll give you a story real quick. <laughs> we were looking at an item and we were trying to buy an item tonight that the item was selling for 30% more on auction than any other, other active listing buy it now best offer, All right? And there's thousands of these items you can see that are in demand that people are looking to get, but on auction, it just increases the value more than what's actually out there buy it now best offer. Strange, right? Yeah, but it's an in-demand item. And it's nothing you would think that be like, oh my God, it's, what, what is it? Well, it's, it's coins, <laughs> You know, there's, there's a lot of these categories that have high sell-through rates on auction and that they are, you know, it's just demand, right? It's, it's the auction. It's going and people get caught up into it. But back to the story of the gap. So now you got the gap shirt, right? And you're like, all right, man, I got it for $14 on my, my store and it's just not selling. What do I do? Well, maybe throw it to auction, right? Maybe, maybe throw it out there. Maybe change the keywords around a little bit. Nice pictures. You got to have nice pictures, right? I mean, if, if your pictures are crappy, you know, they're, they're crappy. But you, there's ways to improve on it. So, but who am I to say anything? Look at this mess, right? <laughs> but all I know is this, guys, is that I sold like $600 today on eBay through multiple accounts. And that's why I wanted to come with you tonight late before I went to bed to, to describe to you this, that eBay is an algorithm, okay? And a lot of people think, how do I trick the algorithm? How do I get the algorithm to like me? How do I get the algorithm to buy things from me? And it's quite simple, but it's quite overlooked. A lot of people go, all right, I'm going to run auctions. Great. Auctions are great money. <laughs> if you've got in-demand items and you throw them to auction on eBay, eBay auctions right now are killing it. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. They're... You can make money. But if you're like, hey, my Gap shirt isn't selling, what do I do? Well, you know what? Here's what I do. Set it and forget it. Completely set it and forget it. Price it the way you want it and let it sit, okay? If you get everything in your favor, good feedback, good photos, good description, 
good measurements, all these things that are kind of really basic, right? I know, you're like, dude, Mike, I just want to sell more shit. <laughs> I, I really do. Here's the, here's the kicker. If you have the eBay store, okay, the algorithm has changed from over the years. A lot of people said, no, here's how eBay successful sellers do this. What they do is they throw these items out there, mass stores. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little horse tonight. Horse tonight. <laughs> but here's how a lot of successful people have said in the past. You have to have promoted listings, which yes, I do believe you need to have that. You need to have promoted listings. I'm at 1%. That's all I do. But you need to have an active eBay store. So what does that mean? List things on a daily basis. Shit, you know what? You might say, you know, I can't do it daily, Mike. Okay, cool. Draft feature. Create the draft feature, okay? Save it to a draft. But make sure you you, you build it up, the drafts, 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 right? So you can run seven days listing new stuff, okay? That's going to show eBay's algorithm you're there. The next step, when an item sells on eBay, it's very important to understand this. Ship it out immediately, okay? Stop what you're doing. Whether you're a part-time reseller, you might be at work when it sells. <clears throat> if you're a full-time reseller, grab it. Don't think, oh, well, I'll wait till the morning and my orders come through. I'm going to process all this. No, you are missing the boat. <laughs> Trust me when I say this. If you're a full-time reseller and you can ship out now, whether it's at 7 o'clock at night and you can just go print label, package up, good to go, that is gold, I'm telling you, okay? eBay's algorithm loves that. And what they do is they reward we, reward you. See, the whole system's changed here. A lot of people think, oh man, you know, my thing is I'm going to take my items and I'm going to price my items at $50. Buy it now with free shipping or shipping, you know, plus. And I'm like, why are you doing 50 well, it usually sells for 25 but I know that I'm going to do the Markdown Manager, which is gone now, which is called Promotions, right? And you're going to run a sale. If you are running sales in eBay, this is where the gold's coming at in this video, guys. Stop running sales. Trust me when I say this. Stop running sales. The reason why is because, you know what? If you look at your items that you have on eBay right now, if you have under 40 views on eBay for that item... There is no reason for you to run a sale if you're pricing it accordingly, okay? So, Gap Shirt, if it sells for eight on eBay religiously, okay, post it on eBay for, let's say, 10 or nine or whatever it is. <clears throat> or if it's a, a Sony DVD combo and everybody is priced at $80, price at $90. It will sell, okay? And you don't think, oh, man, the biggest misconception with reselling is, I need stuff to sell now. That's not the game. <laughs> the game is patience. Patience. Bring it down a notch. Slow it down. Keep listing and building your inventory to where you need to be, right? And then you adjust. You try things. You want to try a markdown manager. You want to try promotions, right? You want to go, hey, 30% off. That's up to you guys to decide. Okay, but I'm going to tell you something. For <clears throat> the past year of watching eBay's algorithm back and forth, back and forth, I've seen it. I have eBay stores, 20% off, right? Let's do it on a weekend sale. Let's do it. Let's do it every two days. What I'm seeing now, guys, with the data is mind blowing. Like, I feel like such a schmuck that I've run sales on my eBay stores. I don't need it. I don't think you guys need it if you're priced accordingly. But if you're that reseller, you're like, hey, you know what? Everybody's at 25. I'll be at 50 because I know that I'll run that 50% off sale. That'll that'll jolt something to be in best match. That's crap. I'm telling you right now, that's crap. In, in 2020, <laughs> reality-wise, I'm just telling you, list accordingly. Like, list your item. Realistic, right? eBay's algorithm is so slick right now. It's it's kind of sick, right? Have you ever noticed something where like you list something and it says trending? Like, what does that mean? Well, that means it's a desirable item. And not only that, that 
if you're in that guideline and that trending, what eBay thinks is trending, your item's going to sell, okay? There is no need to discount anything anymore if you price accordingly. Mark my words, trust me. If you think I'm batshit crazy, <laughs> you think I'm nuts, try it for a week if you have an eBay store. Try it for a month, and I guarantee you, you're going to make 30% more profit on your items that you have in your eBay store then you would keep running sales and keep playing the game. I gotta keep running sales, Mike. I gotta keep, stop, stop running sales, period. The sales don't work. You know, and if you guys are gonna watch videos. You guys are gonna, you have to decide, my, here's, you have to decide what works for you. That's my slogan, like the very top of like my whole channel. Finding out what works for you. I'm coming to you tonight to tell you that that's all in the can. If you're priced competitively, if you have items that, there's not very much competition on. All you gotta do is sit back and just wait. Just wait. Don't worry about it. What's your what's your game? You fast flips? You go like, hey, dude, I'm gonna I just run auctions. Well, that's a whole other story. But if you have an eBay store and you're listing items and you're competitive, just relax. Chill. Chill. Because if you've been in this mode where you're like, hey, Mike, I've just been running sales and nothing's happening. Great. Stop. Just trust me. One week, see what happens. See what happens when you don't run a sale. What happens with your eBay, eBay algorithm, right? Again, a majority of items on eBay, when you look at them, when you list them and you first list them, go back in two days. Be like, dude, only 10 views? Maybe one watcher, right? The game has changed here, people. This, I believe the eBay game is one of two ways, okay? Right now in 2020, to make money right now. One, auction it off, dude. Just freaking, hey, if you're the low-cost producer, auction it. I do it all the time. Stuff flies through the shelves, right? People go, oh, no, there's no money in Ralph Lauren. There's no money in, in all these other brands. No, well, no, I beg to differ. But I'm not paying $7 a shirt for these, right? I'll run to auction, you know, 20, 30 bucks. It's craziness, I know. It depends on where you're at in your reselling business. In my reselling business, everything that's on my eBay stores, if nothing's sold in 30 days, that would be terrible. <laughs> it really would. Would I be out of business? No, I really wouldn't. You know, the thing is, is this. A lot of people think there's, <sighs> how do you do the eBay? What is the best way to do it? Okay. And I'm going to describe this because this will might make sense to you guys. I've been on this YouTube channel here for 11 years, I think. My first video was like a long time ago. I've been chit-chatting and talking to you guys about reselling. And things have changed, right? There's, so many things have changed with YouTube, right? There, there's the this over here, the YouTube reseller, the reseller, okay? I have never come on YouTube here and said... Hey guys, here's my here's one of my eBay accounts. Can you guys can you guys go over there and just buy some shit for me real quick so I can make sure tomorrow's video looks good, right? All these packages, right? You've never heard that. You've never seen me do that, right? It's a big difference there because there's a 99.3% of people that are out there that don't have that luxury to go, let me make YouTube videos really to sell shit to people or, or items or quality items. I'm not saying shit. But they're just selling, like, I think a lot of you guys are watching these YouTube channels like, well, I want to do that, right? Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to be the YouTube reseller or do you want to resell, okay? So what I mean is that there's a lot of YouTube reselling channels out here that 99% of their sales are from other people watching, which is great, whatever. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> but the thing is, like, if you're watching that video going, well, I could do that. I could be that reseller. I could buy these things. Listen, Chris, Brian, Mom, I could do this. Well, then you try it and you see what happens. It's a whole nother game than what everybody else is talking about on YouTube, right? About crushing it, killing it, Instagramming it, all this craziness. I'm drinking a ballast point here tonight before I go to bed. <clears throat> but I really want to nail this thought home to you guys because... I think it's so important and dire that you can't 
you've got to try things outside the box, okay? And what I mean by that is that <clears throat> if you're pricing your items accordingly and they're desirable somewhat items, they can be long tail, just let it sit, right? Have some patience and these items will sell. Seriously, they will. But they need two things here. They need one, promotions, which is promoted listings, not sales. Don't run sales. Don't don't forget the sales. Nobody needs sales anymore in eBay, guys. Trust me, to be successful. Nobody does. Those are people going, those are people losing money. I'm telling you. You when you run your promote when you run your promotions and you're going, I well, 20% off, you're losing money, period. Because you do not know where that buyer is coming from. Okay, that buyer could just hit your account right now and they would have bought it with regardless of your 20% off, your 30%. That's that game is over, in my opinion. Again, I this is eight months in, multiple eBay accounts telling you guys what I'm seeing, and I think the whole running sales on your eBay store it is over. Okay. Again, you gotta figure it out for yourself, right? Try it a week, don't run a sale. Try it a month. Don't run a sale. You will make more money, period, in my opinion. Stop running sales. Doesn't mean shit. Nobody's watching it, okay? Again, what kind of clientele do you want? Do you want a clientele that's going, oh, I, you know, I've got these watchers, Mike. What do I do? Well, shit, we all have this feature, right? Send them an offer. I don't send people offers. Occasionally I do, right? If it's a higher ticket item, like if it's over $100, or, well, no, I took that back. If it's over $50, I'm, I, I will send people offers. But I if you had asked me right now, like how many offers have you sent to people on eBay in the past 90 days? Maybe 10. <laughs> I am not sitting there when I'm clicking on my eBay account going, overview, all right, Mike, you've got 784 opportunities to send people a offer. I ain't sending, I ain't sending anybody an offer right? I'm confident in my pricing, in my products. I believe in my products and I believe eBay is doing the right thing, which they are. This is the beauty. If you're using promoted listings, promoted listings, 1% promoted listings, do not change your price. Don't run the sales, but you got to be competitive, right? I mean, if you're like, Hey Mike, <clears throat> I'm running, I've got, um, let's take for example, a holiday Barbie. Okay. See, this is where this gets a little crazy. Some people want to abuse it, <laughs> okay? Some people want to say 88 Holiday Barbie typically sells for 40 to 70. But you're not special at 180. Nobody cares at 180, okay? You're never going to make that sale, right? You're just never going to make that sale. But if you come down to 60, 70, 80, where the market's touching, again, uh, no sale, Priced accordingly, your item will sell on eBay if it's in demand, okay? A lot of people are just, they're, everybody's trying to figure out a solution for eBay. And my solution right now, 2020, is your time is worth something, okay? When you list items, make sure they're somewhat in demand or if they're long tail, it is what it is. You price your items. But don't go looking back after 30 days going, well, shit, it didn't work out, Mike. I didn't, I didn't make any changes. I didn't, I didn't sell anything in 30 days. If you haven't sold anything in 30 days on eBay, you have bigger problems, okay? I'm just throwing this out there because I've gotten, I can't even count on how many fingers and toes of people telling me they haven't sold anything in weeks. And, I, and I've seen it from people that have five items listed to people that have 3,000 items listed. They're just not in demand. But don't give this stuff away. I mean... Shipping prices are going to increase right now. They've increased recently. They're going to increase more, okay? You have to stick to your guns. So again, I want to make this clear. When you find an item, widget one, widget Mike's Zippo, Cub Zippo, that's rubbed off. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the Zippo. What is this Cub Zippo sell for rubbed off? Well, the, the shit, there's a guy selling it brand new for 40. Okay. All right, well, mine's not brand new. There's no reason for me to price this at $39.99. <clears throat> what did I pay for this? I paid a dollar for it. Okay. Just because I paid a dollar for it doesn't mean I need to give it away cheap. 
look at the market. I mean, this is a business, people, okay? I really always looked at eBay and reselling as a <clears throat> kind of like a stock portfolio, a stock business. Like, hey, all right, I buy this as a, a X dollar, and I'm willing to sell. If I bought it for two, I'm willing to sell it at eight right now. Or if I bought it for 20, I'm willing to sell it for 80 right now. Or 50, right? A lot of people don't get that. A lot of people are just like running around with like, um, yeah, hey, thanks, Mike Dalton. I appreciate the Dollar 99 Super Chat. Even wants to see activity. Get, yes. Total point here, Mike. Mike knows this. Mike's, Mike's a very successful eBay reseller. They want activity, right? So stick to your guns with the pricing. But understand, when you're listing that item, whether the market is there and you're like, Mike, there's no market for me with this item. All right, price it high. You can always come down every day or every week and just go, all right, let me knock it down there five dollars, ten dollars, right? Manually. No, no, don't do the the discount. Don't do the the promotion. Don't do the 30% off, 20% off. That shit doesn't go anywhere. I'm telling you that right now. You're spinning your wheels when you're sitting there running your sales. You're spending more time clicking that little button and selecting your 500 items or whatever items you have to run a promotion. Okay, trust me, if the game's over, it's, it's the ploy for you just to spend time. But some people might like that. Some people are going to disagree and say, no, Mike, dude, I crush it. I kill it every day. We're doing $30,000 a day. Great, maybe it works for you. But realistically, for us people that are out there, stop. Trust me, if you've been doing it, you will totally understand where I'm coming from. Try for one week, stick to your guns, keep your prices high, right? But keep it in the margin of where that item should sell for, right? If you've got, <laughs> if you've got Disney VHS, you see this little pile over here? Worthless, absolutely worthless. But shit, Mike, there's three Beauty and the Beast, Black Diamonds. Let's go, baby. <laughs> let's go. I don't. Even, I'm not even listing those on eBay, right? I'm not playing this like. Well, let's see if, honey, let's see. Can we get four hundred dollars for Beauty and the Beast? Black Diamond? This is why mess around? Like it's worthless. You know? This is what I'm getting at. Look at your inventory. Understand your inventory. It's very important to understand this. This is like business 101. Okay. Again, I'm talking from someone who's experienced here and is making money on eBay, who's, who's supported a family doing this. And I'm just telling you, stop lowering your prices, right? Don't feel you need to give shit away. Now, let me reiterate this. If you're sitting around going, Mike, I haven't sold anything in two weeks. Okay. Let's reassess what you have going on with your eBay store. Because something's off. Right? Are you not, like Mike Dalton said, are you, are you not active? Do, you, do, do certain people out there think that they could just list 20 items tomorrow morning and not do jack shit for the next 30 days? Well, that's not going to be a successful eBay store. <laughs> right? Or will it? My opinion, no. You have to be active. That's what I said. If you're part time or full time, whatever time you are, you're willing to put in eBay. It's rewarding. I'm telling you, eBay right now is exploding with sales, record numbers that they've probably never seen before. Trust me when I say this. And we are in a pandemic, <laughs> right? People are buying like mad. I guarantee you, when this is when this cloud passes. At some point here, if eBay management got off their ass and said, hey, wait a minute. We never listed our items as non-essential. Do you know how many Prime members can't get shit that's non-essential, right? Taking date. I, I've We've placed orders two weeks out. Dude, what the hell is this? Why, why am I playing this game, right? But if I want to buy something that's essential from Amazon, it's not even a stock. But eBay is eBay's crushing it right now, people, okay? So what is it? What are people buying? Well, all types of shit. <laughs> are they buying the Gap shirt? Yeah, they might be. But they might be buying it for 6 $7, not your $14, because you're priced wrong, right? Like, shoes. I sold a lot of shoes today. Shoes. Use shoes. Why are those selling? I don't know. Because they're priced right. <laughs> They're priced right, man, you know? Why, like I see Nevermore Antiques in the house. Great guy. 
Go check out his YouTube channel. Why does why does he why does he sell things on eBay? You know why do all of us sell these things on eBay? Because we're constantly listing items. Like we really pay attention to eBay because we rely on eBay. I rely on eBay. Now if eBay keep me off tomorrow, I said Mike, you're done. I'll be okay. I'm not gonna cry about it. <laughs> I do like making the money on eBay, but at the same point in time, like I think a lot of newer resellers are just watching these videos. And they're mesmerized. And they're like, I need to do what so-and-so does. When I think it really should be, you know, like, hey, let's just, let's just slow down here. Let's find out what works for you, okay? Why can't we just find out what works for you? Because my business is different than everybody else's business. There's people's businesses and that are all over the place. There, there, there are so many people reselling. There are so many people watching YouTube videos. There are so many people in Facebook groups. And, and then everybody hears it. Sales are up. Sales are down. Sales are up. Sales are down. Well, which one is it? <laughs> which one is it? And what are you doing? And then when you look at the guy who's like, I'm crushing it. You're like, dude, you've sold 20 freaking items in 30 days. Then you hear the person, I haven't sold anything in weeks. And you're like, that's because you only have five items listed. Who are you to say anything? But we live in a world where opinions matter. Everybody's opinions matter, no doubt. I'm not saying I'm bigger and better than anybody. I'm out there just literally, legitimately telling you guys, if you listen to what I said during this video tonight, stop. If you have an eBay store, stop with the sales. Stop. Just stop. Readjust your pricing, maybe, right? If stuff's not selling. If your stuff is not desirable, that's up to you. You got to look at that and say to yourself, was this desirable? Is this desirable? Will this ever sell? Right? Beauty and the Beast, Black Diamond, VHS. You have it in your eBay store for 40 Do you really think you're going to get 40 bucks for it? If you do, God bless you. I really hope you do. Reality is, you'll never get it. Okay? That's, waste, that's just a wasted opportunity to make money. Okay? Look at all these circumstances, guys. Look at all these opportunities. There are, again, it's hard to decipher, especially somebody like me who's been around the block here many, many times, talking to so many resellers and so many resellers reached out to me. Everybody's different. Everybody's circumstance is different. But I think what I meant here tonight is to say, listen, we've got these things going in our favor, right? Run promotions if you have an eBay store. Run auctions and stop with the sales. Don't, don't discount shit. <laughs> you know, don't discount shit. Somebody said they sold the Beauty and the Beast sealed for 40. I'm talking used. <laughs> Again, right? Do what works for you. What it, what's going to improve your business? How are you going to get more money involved, right? eBay is a big place. Family friendly. I, I almost dropped the F-bomb. <laughs> but it's a big place and there's a lot of people playing the game. There's a lot of people right now that are unemployed. They're not going anywhere, people. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're not going anywhere. They're not getting jobs. They're done. They're like, dude, unemployment's great and shit. eBay is crushing it right now. Crushing it on eBay. And these unemployment checks are big. Will they last? Who knows? Doesn't matter. Not my fucking problem. Oh, dropped it. Do what works for you, but be smart. But if you're in a position right now where you're like, hey, you know what, Mike? You know what? We get sales every day, right? And we do run, you know, promotions. We do run sales on our eBay inventory. Stop. Just, just hear me out. Stop. Just stop for one second. Stop for a week. Stop for two weeks. Stop for a month and see that you'll make more money with your items. Okay? That, that, that's what I'm saying right there. If you're new to the game and you're doing these things, great. You're going to just keep learning, right? I mean, it's a learning game. Nobody knows how this shit works. You list shit on eBay and it sells, right? You list stuff on eBay and it doesn't sell. Well, why doesn't it sell? Oh, that's why. I got to lower it 40%. I got to put shipping on top. <laughs> shipping on top will do the trick. Will it? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> just... I know it really works with eBay, 
And what works with eBay is consistent listing, using the promotions in terms of promoted listings, listing items on a daily basis. If you don't want to do the daily shit, okay, build drafts. Release five every day. Whatever your number is. If you're like, hey, Mike, I do a hundred, I do a hundred listings, or Mike, I do a thousand listings. Great. You're obviously watching here to learn from somebody who's done it. So if if you if you know the answer, you probably shouldn't be watching this because you know the answer. But the thing is, guys, let's just stop giving away our shit. That's the point here. And the point is, there are people giving away shit. It's mind blowing, like what's happening. But they're not, but here's the thing. They're listing th items 40, 50% off because that was the new norm last year. Run promotions, let's do 50% off and let's end, let's end all of our listings. Let's just close them all out and the hell with it and relist them. What kind of, that is baddie bullshit. Let me end my listings every three days. I mean, dude, really? You're going to end all, you're going to end all of your listings and relist them? Like, do you think that gives you a boost? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> and I know some of you are going to be like, no, Mike, that works. No, you're batshit crazy. That doesn't work, okay? That's just you so deep in the eBay brain of the mind going, well, that I did end all those listings that were stale. And I, and I closed them all down. And then I relisted them. <laughs> I gave them a break. I gave them a bounce in the, the algorithm. Dude, the algorithm doesn't give shit. The algorithm is nothing other than supply and demand, okay? And you don't know when your buyer's coming. So if your buyer is coming or going, and you know, this is the price I want for my item. It's in line to what's active. It's in line to what's sold. Dude, just let it, just let it be, man. Let it marinate. Remember that term, marinate? That's the gold right there. Let it marinate. Don't worry about that item. Don't think, oh, it hasn't sold this month and I'm at 20. Let's go down to 15. 30 days go by. Oh my God, it's at 15. Let's go down to 10. It's the race to the bottom mentality. Like, <laughs> you, the only way I, I could describe this is if you've ever sold on Amazon. <clears throat> and you've sent shipments into Amazon. And you're like, why aren't these books selling? I watch these YouTube gurus. Why aren't these ranked... Three million books selling for me. Well, damn it. The lowest buy box is 10. Let's get tricky and sexy tonight and do four. <laughs> it doesn't mean shit, man. Right? Stop. What I'm saying in this video, keep your prices firm. Keep your prices competitive. Stay in the loop. Okay? Stop worrying. Just list, list, list. Activity is key. But you got to be in line. You got to know what you're selling. If I'm selling this, okay, and there's 50 of these ballast points on eBay and the lowest price is $4, do I really think I'm that freaking special I can get 12? Is Mike Franco that special that I can get $12 for this when there's an asshole or a sophisticated seller or a low-cost producer seller that can sell for four? You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you know, it just, it's kind of like a Led Zeppelin song, right? It's like, it's just ramble on, right? You're just rambling on, like, and then, then you're so freaking into this reselling and then you go into Facebook groups, my stuff doesn't sell. Okay, and you know, I've seen this, dude. I've been in, I've been in these groups. <laughs> I've got my own groups. I've been in YouTube here. I, I hear people's things and I truly, truly, truly try to help people. But I'll tell you what, a lot of people can't be helped and you can't look at the word of what you see on YouTube at all, right? You cannot look at what you see on YouTube to gauge your business. You have to do your business, okay? You cannot be that YouTuber that has 800 items sold. You're like, oh, this guy's crushing it. Well, no, is he? Maybe, I don't know. Or is all those items being sold to subscribers? Somebody left a comment to my video recently. They're like, Mike, dude, all you do is hate on people. But you're running auctions. Okay, well, I'm running auctions. That's what I want to do. God forbid, right? God forbid that. Let me just run my auctions. That's all I want to do. I give people value. 
Let's, let's start this off five bucks. Is that wrong? I'm not saying, dude, give me 50. I'm not saying, give me 100. I throw things to the marketplace, right? Kind of like eBay, right, guys? But understand the whole YouTube thing. It's exciting because it does work. Reselling does work. But I think a lot of people misunderstand that it's not easy work, okay? It takes, it takes knowledge, skill. <laughs> it takes understanding and patience. And if you don't have these things, you probably shouldn't start, right, reselling. And if you're in a situation right now where you're like, Mike, nothing is sold. I talked to a guy last week, 5,000 items in his eBay store. He goes, Mike, I haven't sold anything in three weeks. I'm like, all right, I got to see. I reached out. He gave me his eBay link. I looked. I'm like, okay. I looked. I'm like, dude, you're so niched out. Like, everything in your store is just like something that was really, really popular 10 years ago. And I grabbed like 20 items. I tried to do comps, active or sold. And there's just zero solds. So it's like, but well, you're in too deep, bro. <laughs> you got to liquidate. One person I talked to um, about six months ago got furious with me. Because I, I do coaching and all this stuff on my pick for profit, right? You know, try to help people out. I, I, think, um, I think it's always good to hear somebody else who's been around the, the block kind of give you some advice. And uh, the one person said to me, Mike, hey, listen, I'm struggling I'm, I'm this close to bankruptcy. What do I do? I said, dude, you don't have to pay me. Just, dude, dude, let me look at what's going on. I look at it. I'm like, all right. Okay. All right. You have 30 items listed. Th you've invested 30 items. And you're telling me you're in trouble. You've been, you, you don't even know how far in trouble you were a long time ago. That's all you got. Right? If all 30 of your items sold, would that solve your problem? He says... I need like eight grand. I said, do you realize your 30 items? If I, if I went right now in your eBay store and bought every single one of your 30 items, that would equal 350 bucks. How, did, how can that solve your problem? Like, it's just, you know, and there's, there's a lot of that out here, right? There's a lot of it. And it's discouraging. A lot of people like, you know, they just, you know, it's, there's so many people. There are people that get it, right? There's people that get it when, when, you know, I'm not saying I know all this shit, right? I'm not saying, like, I've talked to people where I'm like, hey, here's what you got to do. And they're, they run. And they, they, they're they making it happen, right? There's some people that just can't. Are they slow? I don't know. <laughs> but here's the thing. What I do know is this, is that you have to sell items that people want. And you got to be in price points that people are, are willing to give you money for. You know, I mean, if you're... <coughs> Shit, I mean, if you're 65 years old, you're like, man, these sold 20 years ago. Doesn't mean they're going to sell now, right? Like, I mean, come on, man. It, the game is evolving. It's always changing. And it's just about just finding out what works for you, solving the problem, fixing the problem, and understanding the problem. Some people always will say this, and we see this all the time, right, guys? eBay's dead. E eBay died 20 years ago. No, it hasn't. They've gotten bigger, people. They're growing, they're getting massively huge right now. Okay. Let me give you this right now. I talked to my buddy Wild Bill. This is this should be an uh, eye-awakening experience for e-commerce right now. That we are only just right here. And it's right at the bottom, people. We're going straight the F up right now. Walmart sold so much stuff throughout all this craziness. And all the pickups. Walmart is delivering products right now. They're not even in Walmart boxes. Mind-blowing, isn't it? People are getting packages delivered from Walmart in a Jimmy Dean box. <laughs> right? Do you understand what that means? Like, do you, can you imagine how many products Walmart sold on e-commerce land on their website? That they actually ran out of freaking boxes, Walmart boxes. They're using Jimmy Dean. They're using freaking cereal boxes. That's a fact. Ask any, grab any FedEx driver or UPS driver. Ask them. 
Because they're even blown away like, what? Well, this is crazy. This is crazy that, well, oh, shit, it says Walmart on the tag shipped from Walmart. But it's a freaking box of freaking Cheerios. <laughs> and people are getting their orders and their stuff. And they're like, dude, I didn't know where Cheerios. And they open the box. It's like a freaking laptop. <laughs> so remember that. This point of e-commerce land is right here, people. Okay. And it's going to climb. We were only at the stage of where we're at. Okay. Through 20, the past 20 years, it's like this line right here, right? The line was like this when it first started. It's climbing. And every year it's climbing further and further and further. But 2020 hit and it's going to do this leap. It's up this high. It's going to keep continuing. And what's going to happen is if you're sitting there complaining, you're crying, nothing's selling. Well, then you know what? You got to figure it out for yourself. I'm giving you tips tonight to understand your business, to understand what you're selling. Okay. Here's another tip. Seriously, look at this. This is crazy. If you go to Walmart or any grocery store right now, I have a friend of mine who basically goes around to these grocery stores and all they do is they grab little packets <coughs> of taco mix, ranch mix, you know, those little like package Kool-Aid mixes, right? Little packages, whatever, shit. You mix it with something else and it creates Kool-Aid or ranch dressing. <clears throat> If you are bored tonight and you're like, I don't know what to sell, go look that up right now and you will be blown away what those are doing on eBay. Three packs, 20 packs, 40 packs, doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter because people are shopping in abundance right now, okay? Kool-Aid, what's a Kool-Aid packet cost? 20 cents, five cents? I don't freaking know. I know what a package of 20 sells on eBay for, for Hawaiian Punch. Look these numbers up, right? Stop listening to other people and going, all right, I want to do this. I want to be that. Dude, you got to find out what works for you. Okay. Recently, somebody messaged me and they said, hey, Mike, um, I'm going to throw you in the bus, dude, if you're watching this. The mystery box, right? I, I threw out this video of the storage auction pirate. I bought a mystery box. The guy was really nice, but he said, hey, I bought a mystery box because I'm this step away from just stopping. Like, he didn't have any more money. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Of all things, you're going to buy a mystery box to solve your problem? He's like, well, I live in Illinois. I'm like, oh, you live in Illinois? Okay, well, what does that mean? What the hell does that mean? You live in Illinois, so that's why you have to buy a mystery box from a YouTube reseller. There's no other opportunities for you. There's no online estate sales. There's no auctions. There's, there's auctions by the thousands right now, okay? There is so much opportunity right now to source. It is unbelievable. But if you are used to just going, I like my little Goodwill and I just want to kind of pedal my ass in there <clears throat> and just go, what's in here? What's in these stores? They just opened grand opening. What's here? You might be disappointed. Or you might find that Gap shirt for $4 that you could sell for 6 Because that's the reseller you might be. <laughs> right? I'm just being straight up with you guys, right? I think a lot of you guys follow me for being straight up. But that's the thing, right? Who Are you Are you the reseller trying to buy the $6 Gap shirt? Is that what, is that what gets you off? <laughs> What's going to happen here, though, as we talked about, the e-commerce line went from here to here, and it's going to jump, jump, jump. Mark my words, October, November, you're going to see sky-high sales with your e-commerce business if you keep producing, a.k.a. list stuff, buy stuff, be creative, okay? Mike, you said, oh, you were selling shoes. Well, then go find some freaking shoes, okay? What? Concert shirts, video games, right? All these little things. Understand what you're doing with this, right? But don't be afraid to go, Mike, I'm going to try something here tonight. And that is what you said. Because I've been running sales like a beast. <laughs> like a beast on eBay. And it's just not panning out. I'm not liking my results. Well, then stop with the sales. Okay? Stop with the sales. Two more things for you guys, and I'm going to get off here. Number one is, if you're buying things on eBay, and these poor saps of, res of resellers, 
resellers, sellers on eBay, whatever we want to call these people, and they can't ship out in a timely manner, they can't ship out on the guaranteed time, <clears throat> well, guess what? We are making money off these people because if they can't produce these items delivered to us, you go to the eBay drop-down menu, right? And you click and it says, oh, was this delivered on time? Late delivery? Well, shit, yeah. It said when I bought this son of a gun, I should have got this four days ago. But shit, it's been 14 days. Well, click that little button. Click that button. Bam. Right? And you click it and it goes, and eBay goes, we're so sorry. Would you like $5? Yes, I would. I would like your $5 coupon for my next purchase. Because you allow these shit resellers and sellers to keep selling me shit that... They just, they just, you know, when they wake up and, oh, I, I, seriously, this is going to get really south here, but this is how a lot of sellers on eBay are. Oh, I only ship on Mondays at two. I, I, I've got a doctor's a note at, I mean, it's, it's just, come on, ship your shit out, man. You know what I mean? People are paying their hard-earned money for shit and you're sitting around farting around. And then you message them, hey. Sorry, I bought this on Monday. Today is fucking Thursday. Can I get my item? Well, you don't know how it is. You don't know how it is to live here in New York. And you don't know how it is how to live in Arizona. I haven't left the house in months. Months. And I'm not going to sacrifice my life for the COVID. <laughs> it's like, dude, just, you fucking... Damn you, woman. Don't matter, right? <laughs> dude, this is real. So just forget them, F them, block them. Right, make a mental note. Like, dude, this is why this is why I probably don't buy an eBay because there's so many retards on the platform. Okay, that can't ship shit out in a week. I have one, fourteen days. I'm like, and I'm being really nice. I'm like, do you know when you're gonna ship this out? Again, again sorry if I said the word retard. I know some people. I don't. I, I don't mean it in the wrong way. I, I really don't because I've have a lot of friends that are, you know, things happen. And there's a lot of kids in my life that have problems. I totally understand that word. I know it's not appropriate, but I'm going to tell you something. Some you, some eBay sellers are just, they're, I would just say they're just not right. Okay. You buy something. So after the fourth message, I'm like, do you think you can send this to me, Brian? Brian? You try to be nice. Like, Brian, Brian, can you, Brian, can you talk to me? Can you reply to me, Brian? I don't want to go through the eBay system, Brian, because we all know when <laughs> we buy something on eBay, it freaking takes seven days before anything happens, and then maybe I get my money back, and you really don't get punished at all for being a shitty seller. You know that to be a fact. <laughs> but my God, like, so if you're dealing with that right now where people aren't shipping shit out, I mean, hey, last time I checked, this 2020, right? I want to wake up tomorrow morning. I ship out orders tomorrow. I'm going to do that. Tomorrow, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Why do we do that? Well, because of my business. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it. Because I'm going to do this to get these items to these people. And I'm telling you, the USPS system is not flawed. They're working as hard as ever under what I think is to be the craziest freaking job in the world for them right now, dealing with the insanity of people coming through those post offices and it's, it shit's out of control. The shit at a post office is out of is out of control. So I have a hundred percent faith in the the USPS system because I'm watching. I'm watching shit. Two days, three days, no no hiccups, no problems. Maybe one day it says delayed a little bit, but it gets there, right? I believe in the system, the USPS. It's not failing. It's not crushing it. But you know what? Just stop with the bullshit and going, the hell with that post office. No. Think, what are those people at the post office actually doing for us? Working their asses off and then dealing with the idiots standing in line to get their shit. Nobody wants to think about that. Nobody wants to think about that. But back to the shit reseller. <laughs> the shit seller that doesn't want to send your item out. Again, click the little button. And to say, yeah, this didn't, this did not arrive on time, man. <laughs> eBay every time, five bucks. Here you go, Mr. Franco, five bucks. I'll take it. I'll take it because Brian don't want to send my shit out. <laughs> I only gave him eight bucks for the thing. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. 
other than that, um, appreciate you guys watching this. Hopefully you learned something from this. And I think it is to be aggressive. Okay? <clears throat> stick to your guns. Stick to your pricing. Stop with the sales bullshit. Seriously, stop. <clears throat> if your item's in demand, you're, you're, you're good to, you're G to G. You're good to go. If your item is like, well, maybe it's outpriced. Well, adjust the stuff, man. Shit. Adjust it. What are you waiting for? Right? Again, back to the Disney VHS analogy. If it sells for eight, why do you why do you you think you're special at 50? <laughs> Go some devils. Right? But the biggest takeaway tonight is keep listing. Be proactive with your eBay account. And just adjust your numbers, right? If you're like, hey, you know what? Yeah, I did want 50 for that mic. I, I really did want 50 for it. But stuff hasn't sold in a couple days. So I'm going to adjust my price. I'm going to knock it down 40. Well, then, dude, you, everybody's, everybody does that. I'm not knocking that at all when you need more money. Like, hey, man, fuck, the electric bill was a little too high this month, right? I got to adjust it somewhere. Yes. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm just saying stop giving it away with the sales. Because if you look at your item, this is the best way to tell. If you look at your eBay items and you list them, all right, you're going to look at those items and go, all right, just stop for a minute because it doesn't make any sense to look at it every hour on the hour. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Appreciate it. Look at your eBay items after you list them 24 hours. If you go, oh my God, this thing's got a thousand views and freaking 20 watchers, you're good to go. It's just a matter of time. But if the item is, you list it and it's like, well, it's only got four views. That's where we need to look at these items and go, is it desirable? Can we wait on this? Do we want to get rid of this? Right? I think a lot of us are maybe moving too fast here. When the game has just started, people, this is the beauty of this. This e-commerce is, like I said, it was here. And this whole craziness, it's, it's so high up right now, guys. You have no idea. And it's going to get higher. And for all of us that are involved with this, and all of us that are listing on a daily basis, and, and shipping, and going through... The, the circus that there is at a post office, I do. And I appreciate those people. And I they're stressed. And um, you know what? It's life's life's going good. So keep on listing, guys. Um, keep on doing your thing. But again, try that. If you're like, hey man, you know what? I'm tired of doing these sales and they're not working out. Try try not running a sale for a week or two. Again, use the promotions. And then uh, maybe try some auctions. Auctions are banging right now, guys. They're banging. A lot of you guys from Tucson, I appreciate it. Maybe sometime we can hook up, meet with you guys. A lot of you guys are amazing people. I definitely appreciate all the support from you guys. And um, I just wanted to come out tonight to say, listen, you know what? This is what's working for me. You know, there's no ulterior motive. There's nothing uh, to say like, you know, I'm doing this for video views. This video's not even monetized. You know, just it's just, let's go make some money. Let's be smart about it. Let's look at what we have together. Let's look at what you have together. Find out what works for you and be great. That's it, right? But don't overthink this stuff. Don't think promotions at 8%, all right? Run my sales at 42% and then end every item. And let's start it back up again tomorrow. Stop, please. That's, that's years ago. And if it's working for some of you, that's amazing. But I'll tell you what, that hasn't worked for me in years. <laughs> That's why I wanted to make this video out here. So um, go out there. Be great, guys. Really appreciate watching me here. It's late. It's probably 1 in the Oh, it's 1, one o'clock in the morning in Arizona. So um, <laughs> again, really appreciate you guys. Go be great. I love you guys. Be safe. I will see you in the next video. Peace.